Yo, welcome back guys, another video and we're back in Planet Zoo and um, it's finally here, like we can go uh, create the snow area. Um, I already told you before in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, ch go check it out. Um, but as I told you, um, we're going to make the snow area, which will include six different animals. So they're going to be like six different videos. Um, this is going to be the largest or the biggest or the longest video of all. Um, but the reason for that is because we're making actually the area itself. Um, I used a way of creating this area by making a layout on Paint or Photoshop before I actually started on this. Um, so I'm going to show you um, the picture that I made and so you can already see what animals I will be getting and how the habitats are going to be placed also for the other upcoming areas I did the same um, so it's just a way that I use and um, yeah let's go into it so right here you see uh, the map that I made um, so it, all the way not on the top you see like the wolf habitat uh, wolf habitat and the entrance um, that we made previous video and I made this picture like screenshot um, after that so I can create the layout and by creating the layout like the green lines are the mountains that you see around um, the black lines are the pathways like where we are going to walk and also on the right side of the mountains you see like they're hard to see but they're two uh, also on the pathways like the gray lines uh, those are also entrances to other areas which I have plans for uh, later in the series uh, it will take a while before we get there because I have to say we will be moving to uh, the top area first after this area um, that's going to be a huge 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 area uh, way bigger than uh, the snow area is right now um, but yeah I, I'm moving to the top first and then we move to the right side um, so we have to wait a while for that um, but we have six animals on the layout uh, those six animals are from a year ago so we don't have the new animals that we have today the day um, so I used the reindeer the doll sheep those were not the best or perfect animals that I did want to use but there was nothing else to use for the snow animals so I made those six um, habitats and I can always change those habitats into an ice bear or uh, a, a snow fox or a snow wolf or whatever I want so don't worry I could always change them and you can expect that later uh, in the upcoming videos um, the pathways are made in a way that you can always see
Ну.
So now we're going to make the habitat and then in the meantime I will so tell or give you some information about uh, the Siberian tiger. So the Siberian tiger um, is the largest cat of all cats. Um, they live in the east of Russia and sometimes uh, you can even see them in North Korea or China and they live in birch forests uh, in the north where it's it's really cold so that's also why i've made this snow section um, because you will always find them where it's snowing like in the snow areas um, uh, a siberian tiger creates his own territory um, where they can stay for a very long time um, so they create their own territory um, and they live there alone like they're they're not with a pack like wolves do uh, it could be that there is a male and a female um, but that's it so they all have their own territory um, they mark their territory with uh, urine and uh, they scratch trees so to mark the area um, so all the tigers know that they're crossing an area from another tiger um, the male tigers never get into each other's territory, uh, only the female tigers, they do get into other territories. Um, they can just cross paths, uh, doesn't matter. Um, as soon as a male and another male uh, see each other uh, in someone else's territory, you know how it's going to end. Uh, tigers live alone and so they have to hunt alone on their prey um, makes it really hard for them uh, to hunt because they're alone uh, so they have to be really smart with that um, female tigers give a bird up to two up from two up to six uh, cubs um, at once so there can be a lot of cubs uh, born um, they raise their cubs alone, so without the male, so as soon as they get the cubs, then the male tiger uh, leaves and uh, creates or finds a new territory for itself and uh, the female um, has to raise the cubs all alone. Um, the cubs will stay with the mother until they are around two or three years old. Um, after that they will leave uh, the mother and they will also go uh, find the territory for that for their own um, the Siberian tiger can be discussable uh, uh, because they have fewer uh, polar stripes and they have also manes so in that way you can see the difference between uh, the Siberian tiger and um, the Bengal or there are even more I'm not sure which ones um, but that's the way how you can see the difference between them so um, again this, the stripes are polar and they have manes um, also the stripes the, they're less like the fewer stripes um, the mane in addition to the thick fur uh, that keeps them uh, very warm so the fur is like really thick so they can um, they can stay in those cold conditions for a very long time so with any without any problems uh, the Siberian tiger is uh, about to extinct uh, there are only fewer than so there are less than 4,000 tigers in the wild um, so yeah, that, that's getting a, a really big problem at the moment. Um, the reason because they're about to extinct is that the parts of the Siberian tigers get sold. Because um, people believe that um, they're good for medicine. And uh, lots of parts get sold from nose up to tail. So it's n not like they need a specific part of the tiger. No, they like they use like everything from the tiger um, even the bones are getting used uh, to make some wine um, 
some people believe they get like the strength from a tiger if they drink it so they literally use everything from those tigers um, so yeah they, they they have a really hard period to survive um, it's still good that they live up in the north and north of Russia because not a lot of people come onto those locations like um, they're really cold weathers so not a lot of people live there um, but then still 4,000 animals it's not a lot so that has to raise um, then getting back to the way that um, the tigers live I told you earlier that uh, tigers live alone and so they have to hunt alone um, then you might be thinking what do they eat then um, they mostly hunt on elk and on wild boars um, so yeah those animals are a, a bit easier for them to hunt because they're not the biggest uh, they are they can be fast so that's that's a bit harder um, but yeah that's what they eat um, and the biggest problem of all is that a tiger needs like 10 kilogram of food a day um, they can easily live a day without food that's not a problem but they need like 10 kilograms of food a day so they have to hunt a lot um, so they always have to keep hunting and getting some food uh, despite the fearsome reputation uh, from the tigers uh, most tigers avoid humans um, you probably won't think it because like they look strong and aggressive and things like that uh, but however uh, a few do become dangerous uh, dangerous man eaters um, but the only time this is happening is when they are sick or unable to hunt um, but normally they won't um, out of random or anything they won't uh, hunt on human I won't go into a cave from a tiger so I don't recommend that um, but yeah they don't hunt human uh, the Siberian tiger is mostly active at night so they're uh, they're hunting at night and they're sleeping over day and like most felines uh, it stalks its prey uh, at the distance of 10 up to 20 25 meters um, so they're like really calm um, they stalk it and then out of nowhere they just run for it and go get their prey and that's how they hunt so I hope um, you got some more information now about uh, the tigers and I hope you liked the video Keep watching because you will get some uh, more uh, shots of the habitat. But for me, it, this was it for now. And uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, keep watching. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.